I have already discussed previously in this course that you can ask ChatGPT for explanations of concepts in math at different levels of difficulty. So you can ask ChatGPT to explain something to you at the level of a middle schooler, a high schooler, a university math student, and so on. So the concept here in this video is basically the same, um, but uh, we are going to be asking for problems to solve at different levels of difficulty. So there's many, many examples that I could have used, um, but I decided to uh, just pick one. So uh, actually let ChatGPT pick one for me. So here's my prompt. Uh, the prompt says, I'm in my 50s. Just to be clear, I am not in my 50s. I'm imagining someone who is in their 50s. I'm almost 25 years old. I'll be 25 in a couple of years, in case you're wondering how old I am. So the prompt reads, I'm in my 50s and relearning math as a hobby. So look at all of these contextual background details that I'm providing to ChatGPT. So ChatGPT understands that I'm uh, older, I'm relearning math, I like math, and I like proofs. So now um, ChatGPT is going to come up with a simple geometry theorem that involves a proof. Maybe something about triangles. Let's start with an easy one, something a middle school student would be expected to solve. The reason why it's helpful to provide all of this background information is that ChatGPT is going to search through its memory banks and try to find an appropriate matching context. So it's not going to be looking for text, which in this case would correspond to math problems or proofs that involve uh, geometry from, uh, let's say, physics websites, physics uh, chat forums, or um, stack exchange posts where people are, are writing, I am in university and I'm doing this for a university course on proofs. Instead, it's going to start searching through its knowledge banks, which come from websites where people are talking about uh, learning math as a hobby and uh, middle school and so on, and integrating all these different websites that are uh, relevant to give us a problem that ChatGPT will think that we are looking for. Okay, so ChatGPT did a pretty good job here. First of all, it wrote some nice, kind words. It's great to hear that you're rekindling your interest in math. Okay, now uh, ChatGPT picked the uh, Pythagorean theorem, which is that in a right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's a great theorem to work with. Uh, there are many, many proofs. I don't even know how many proofs of the uh, Pythagorean theorem there are, maybe a dozen, somewhere in that order of magnitude. But ChatGPT actually started writing out the proof for me, or a proof. Uh, so it, it didn't quite get what I was asking for, or maybe I wasn't clear enough. Um, uh, what I asked for is to give me a simple theorem that I can prove. And uh, it also gave me the proof. So I actually stopped the uh, response midway. So you can see it just stopped here. Because, you know, presumably, I want to work through the proof myself. Okay, and assuming we did that, and I was able to work through the proof, now, I have another uh, prompt to give to ChatGPT. Here I say, that was fun, but maybe I remember more math than I thought I did. Give me another one. Um, I like thinking about triangles and proofs. And now I'm asking for another one that would be an appropriate level of difficulty for a university course on proofs in mathematics. So again, I'm not giving ChatGPT specific instructions about exactly what problem I want to solve. I'm asking ChatGPT to come up with a problem that I could develop a proof for. And now I'm also going to specify explicitly, please do not give me the answer, just the problem. And I'll see if I can prove it on my own. Cool. So now we get a theorem called Chiva's theorem. And uh, ChatGPT warns us is certainly a step up in terms of complexity and is a problem you might encounter in a university course on proofs. So now ChatGPT describes the result, uh, describes the outcome of the theorem, but does not uh, show a proof. And it says that my challenge is now to prove this theorem. I hope you're not disappointed to learn that I am not going to prove this uh, right now in the video. 
uh, because it's been a while since I've even thought about this theorem. So it would take me quite some time to figure it out on my own, or I'd, I might even have to look it up or ask for some hints. But um, anyway, this is a good demonstration of how you can ask for exercise problems, in this case, proofs to work through at different levels of difficulty. And that's something that ChatGPT is perfectly able to do for you.